Welcome to the tech and gadget news. Apple started making some of its iPhone 13 models in India. Previously they already made the iPhone 12 and also iPhone SE and they are making plans to produce the iPad in India. It will be made by Foxconn in the city of Sriparumbudu. Further news from India, WhatsApp managed to increase its number of users which are allowed to use the WhatsApp payment in India. Previously they had a maximum of 40 million users which had been increased to 100 million. This maximum number of users has been set by the National Payment Corp of India or NPCI. Meta is also competing with Google Pay, Ant and Walmart in India for customers. There is also a growth in online transactions, specifically in lending and e-wallet services. Mercedes announced that they have a new prototype electric vehicle called the Vision EQ Double X, which is capable of driving 1000 km on one charge. The Vision EQ XX drove from Sindelfingen in Germany to Côte d'Azur in France. Despite of having only half the size of the battery of the EQS vehicle, Mercedes expects to introduce the technology in future vehicles in the Mercedes line in about two to three years. Following Apple's switch to iOS app, which you can find in the Google Play Store, Google has recently introduced a switch to Android app in the Apple's App Store. However, it's not listed on the App Store if you search for it, but I will leave a link below in the description if you want to download it. The switch to Android app will allow uh, users to transfer photos, calendar and contacts from the iOS device to the new Android without any cables. So you will be able to transfer wirelessly the data without needing a USB-C to lightning cable. WhatsApp will be introducing uh, reaction emojis to its app in the following weeks and they will also allow uh, increased file size of 2 gigabytes. Group administrators will also be able to delete messages in the new version. Communities are allowed to have announcement messages. In the browser news, we have Opera's new crypto web browser for iOS. They already have a version for desktop and Android, but recently released an iOS version as well. This will give users access to Web3 services such as dApps or decentralized apps. It also features a built-in non-custodial crypto wallet and allows easy access to games and metaverse platforms. It also has a news crypto corner which offers uh, news, podcast, events, prices and fees all related to cryptocurrencies. At the moment, the supported currencies are Ether, Polygon and Cello. It will allow you to buy and send and receive as well as swap cryptocurrencies. It also features a tracker and pop-up blocker as well as a cookie blocker. It is able to block the dialogue which every time you go to a new website will ask you permission to allow uh, cookies inside your browser. So this crypto browser from Opera will automatically get rid of this pop-up uh, as long as you previously did a setting in the browser. 
Apple also will be introducing this feature in a future version of Safari since many people complain that every time they visit a new website they are asked if they want to allow cookies or not. Staying in the crypto world, there's also a new uh, Bitcoin miner game which allows players to collect uh, satoshis inside the game. This is the first game I heard of which lets you collect Bitcoin in form of satoshis inside a game. Although it's not worth the time to play, it, it's only for collecting satoshis, but it's an interesting idea that probably is going to increase in the number of games available, which will be introducing uh, cryptocurrencies as reward. But this game uh, caught my eye because it actually rewards uh, Bitcoin instead of any other in-game currency. The way it works is that you can collect the um, rewards inside the game and when you want to transfer the rewards in form of satoshis you will need to connect it to a ZBD lightning wallet which is a separate app which is specialized in cryptocurrency used in games. So from this lightning wallet you can transfer it to any other Bitcoin uh, Lightning wallet in theory. But however, I tried to transfer using the ZBD to another wallet, but for some reason it didn't work. When you have a ZBD wallet, you get the ID which you can use to transfer to any other ZBD wallet. And they also feature integration with the Bitstamp cryptocurrency exchange. So in theory, you're supposed to be able to transfer from that wallet to any other wallet instead of only one way from the exchange account into the ZBD wallet. But until now, I only found uh, the way to transfer it into the wallet, but I haven't successfully transferred it yet outside, but it should be able to go. So I'm still testing that out. That was this week's in Tech and Gadget News. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.